be on how to split the air while you're playing into the flute to make it jump octaves. Because the kind of the neat thing about the flute is, if you learn a set of fingerings for the low tones, those same fingers, fingerings on the flute will work for the next octave up. So, um, well, I'll just demonstrate. So I'm going to put my, my head joint back into the main body, and remember, I'm going to not grab it by the keys. I'm going to grab it by the, by the main body, like this. I'm going to grab my head joint so that this, the end of it is in the palm of my hand. My thumb is over the embouchure hole, so I can get a good grip on it. And I'm not going to jam it in there. I'm going to slowly turn it. Slowly turn it. And I think I should use some of my own advice and get some, uh, some Vaseline on there. I've got a special case where I never have to take my flute apart. It's just one big long case. Okay. And remember, you want to, when you line it up, you want to line the hole up so that it's, it's uh, equal with the center of the keys. Center of the keys with the hole. Okay. So, we talked about uh, getting your first tone, talked about how to hold the flute. So what I'm going to have you do now is we just want you to play one note. This is going to be your first note and it's also going to be your first uh, embouchure tone blowing and splitting an octave. So this is the finger that we're going to do. I'm going to give you the note A. Okay, A is the first note in the musical alphabet. And what the fingering for that is, is make sure you can kind of see this. There we go. Okay. The A tone is going to be your uh, all your fingers are up on your right hand except for your pinky, which is on this first pinky key. Make sure you can see that first pinky key down here on the foot joint. And then you're going to have your third finger on the A tone, your second finger on the B key, and your first finger on the C key. Now put those all, all three down. So you have three fingers down in your left hand, one finger down in your right, and I'm balancing the flute with my thumb. These fingers are up. That's an A tone. And just like you did earlier with Blowing across the embouchure hole and getting that first tone, we're going to get our first note, our first A. Our first A. Now, practice just, just making sure that you can get the right fingering, you know what the fingers are, you can remember which ones they are. Uh, make sure you click the link on this video that will give you the fingerings for all the notes on the flute. And what I want you to do now is I want you to to blow across kind of a normal flow of air and then I want you to overblow. I want you to almost blow too hard and see what happens to the tone. Watch what happens. So when the, when the tone jumped up, I didn't change any of my fingers. Everything is still the same. Uh, what we're doing is we're, we're increasing the vibration of the circulation of the air through here and it actually jumps up an octave. Same fingering, still an A, but twice the frequency of an A, so it's an octave up A. Okay? And to make it to tune it, there's there's lots that you need to know about tuning, because so much of tuning each individual note is in your lips and the embouchure. But what you want to do just to kind of keep it in tune to begin with is the, the higher the tones on the flute, the more you're gonna push out a little bit with your lips. Like this. Low, you're going to pull back. High, push out. So watch my lips as I do a low tone, and then watch what happens when I do a high tone. Okay, I'll kind of get close to you here. Actually, this lesson was on how to play your first note, which was an A note, but it really you learned how to play two notes because you learned how to play the octave of your first day. Good luck!